My name's Rebecca, and this is a day at my spring break. My trip started in a car. It took us two days and 20 hours to get to our destination, Las Vegas, Nevada. Along the way, we stopped at a few national parks, including Petrified Forest. In Las Vegas, we got to really explore the city and got to explore all the hotels, even though we were there for just one day. Here are some photos of some hotels that we went to. My favorite was Paris. It was so awesome and so cool. I loved everywhere we went and it was so extravagant. But out of everything, my favorite thing was the food. We got to eat at so many cool restaurants. We got to go to In-N-Out Burger, which I've never been to and it was super good. And we got to go to Carlos Bake Shop, which their cannolis and lobster tails are to die for. We also went to Sprinkles Cupcake ATM. It was such a cool experience. We were only in Las Vegas for one day, so we had to make the most of it. That night for dinner, we had a progressive dinner and we started off with this oyster bar and grill and we had raw oysters. And that was my first time ever trying them and they were actually pretty good. We also went to this place that sold sushi burritos and they were really good actually because I do like sushi so they tasted a lot like that. And lastly we went to Gordon Ramsay's Fish and Chips which was unique and pretty good. And the last thing we did that night was watch the Bellagio Fountain Show so it was really cool and I really enjoyed Las Vegas. Next we drove um, to Arizona to see my dad's friend and also to head to the Grand Canyon. We got to see Hoover Dam on the way, which was really cool, and then we started our adventure to the Grand Canyon. As you can see in the photos, it was super snowy, and it was not what we expected. Although we did pack for the weather, that was good, but it was definitely really cold. We had to put spikes on just to go on the trail, just to be safe, and we had to have walking poles too. It was really icy and slippery. Throughout the trail, we got to see things like the mules and other people hiking the trail and a really beautiful view. As we got further down into the Grand Canyon, it became um, really warm and we started shedding layers really fast so it was really cold and icy and snowy up at the top of the rim and it got really hot down at the bottom so that was really nice we weren't miserable and cold the whole time as you can see in the photos it was definitely one of the most beautiful places I've ever been to and it was just so awesome everywhere you looked from any point of view it was just magnificent and beautiful we soon got to our campground for the first night, and as you can see in the photos, we got to see some of the Colorado River at the bottom. You can only see the Colorado River at the bottom of the Grand Canyon if you hike into it, so that was a really cool experience. That night, we stayed at the um, Bright Angel Campground, and as you can see, this is where we slept, and this is our dinner for the night. When we woke up in the morning, we went to Phantom Ranch, was just, um, it was just a couple of miles away from the campground, and we reserved a breakfast um, before our trip, and we got to eat fruit and sausage and bacon and pancakes, and there was coffee. It was super good, and it was all family style. The next day, we went and we hiked um, five miles uh, because we only were gonna we were gonna split the second um, part of the trail into two days. So we only hiked five miles, and we got done pretty early. And we got to Indian Garden where we were staying for the night, and we got to really relax and go on some more trails to go see some different points and different views of the Grand Canyon. long day um, 
we went to this creek near our campground and we put our feet in it and it felt really nice and I didn't get any photos of the night um, at Indian Garden but we finally woke up and it was our last day and we were definitely ready to be out of the Grand Canyon. So we got on our journey and we started to hike up and it was a lot harder than we thought. It was very hard going uphill and there was a lot of switchbacks and um, it was very hard on our calves and knees. 